Welcome back to another tutorial. So last time I showed you how to make a generator, a macerator, some cables, a battery, all that good stuff. Now, say you have your macerator set up and it and it's macerating stuff and it's making dust, but it's not really much of a gain if we have to get everything out and then put it in a furnace and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna have a look at automation this episode. And it's going to be basic auto automation with industrial craft and build craft pipes. So first of all, let's let me show you how to make a sort of like a small upgrade to a furnace, which is an iron furnace. There we go. So just eight iron in a hollow square. And this one needs coal, but it doesn't need. Let's just put it there. It doesn't need power. So for this uh, for this example, it'll be good enough. Now the first thing you want to make is some pipes, and you have different types of pipes. Oh, pipe. So we'll need some wooden transport pipes, which are made by some wood and some glass, and we'll need some cobble or stone. It doesn't matter which one you use. So let's make some of those, shall we? So we make the wooden ones first, which is wood on the sides and a little bit of glass in the middle. You only need a couple of those, only one for this example. But you know, we'll, we'll make a, a few, why not? And then you need some cobblestone pipes. There we go, perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. Apart from that, we need some redstone engines, which are these suckers here, which is some wood, some glass, some wooden gears, and a piston. So let's make the wooden gears first. Now it's very easy, you just get some sticks. That might be too many. And you just put them like that. So four sticks makes a wooden gear. Now we need two for the redstone engine, so we make two. And we need to make a piston, which is, um, I always forget, but uh, <laughs> the most simple stuff is what I forget. So it's free wood on top, that's I'm sure of that. And then I think it's just cobblestone like that. Yeah, look at that. So we have a piston, we put it in the bottom middle. We put the wooden gears on either side. We put some glass just on top of that, just one. And again, some wood on the top. And that makes us a redstone engine. So we've got the wooden transport pipes, the cobblestone or stone transport pipes. We've got redstone engine. And now we need to get a lever or a t uh, redstone torch. Um, let's make a lever. Done. That's all you need. So what you have to be careful of when, when doing automation is that depending on where you put the pipes, it depends on where it's going to pull items out of. So ignore these on the side for now. Um, pipes will never interact with these, only with the others. So, say if we put a pipe on the bottom of the macerator, it'll pull items out of here. On the top, it'll put, a, put items or put them in here. So, we want them to get away from here. So, we pick the right side and we put a wooden transport pipe on it. Now, the wooden transport pipes, they pull items out of machines. If you would just put a cobblestone pipe there, it would actually not do anything. So we put the wooden pipe there. And then we need something to power this wooden pipe. And that's the redstone engine's job. So let's, uh, let's dig a hole. Put the redstone engine under. And you can see that it's aligned properly. So the, this sort of blue area needs to point towards the pipe. And then we put a lever. Um, maybe just here. Now once we pull the lever. You can see that it's slowly starting to work. Very slowly. But you know. Now this will s speed up over time and eventually it'll turn yellow and then red and when it's at red it's at full speed. And that just depends on how fast it's going to pull the items out of this. So when that's done, we connect this up with cobblestone pipes and then we're going to look at the furnace. Now the furnace has its fuel here in the bottom. This is what has to be cooked up and this will be the output. So we want the items to come on the top item here. So all you do for that is just put the pipe on the top. So let's try it. Let's uh, let's get some ores. Maybe uh, maybe some. What shall we do? Some 
Oh, let's be fancy. Let's go for gold. If we put some gold in there, we wait for it to macerate. And then, any items that come in here, so the output, will be pumped up through these pipes into the top of the furnace. Let's see. Almost. See, that's two, one, and gone. So this works very slowly at the moment, but it'll speed up. And there we have it. The gold dust will go all the way in here get cooked up into iron ingots and then if we want we can do the exact same process again by putting a redstone engine and another wooden pipe here and put this in a chest for example and then you don't have to do anything anymore now this has limitations for example what happens when you're macerating some gold there's lots of gold in here to be smelted but then suddenly there's some iron coming out there's not going to be any room in here now there's several ways to fix that, but we'll get into that in another episode. And before we do that, actually, I can show you this as well. So now I'll put the ores in here manually. Again, if you want to put items in there from somewhere else, you can plonk a chest down somewhere, so, uh, so here. Although this is going to be a bit ugly, but uh, hey, why not? Chest down there. We put a redstone engine in here, which I'm not going to show you because I don't have any. Oh. Oh. works incredibly weird sometimes so we put the wooden pipe on there so it sucks it out of the um, chest and then we just connect it to the top of the f of the macerator so any items you place in this chest will automatically be pulled up here into the macerator be macerated pulled out of here put into the iron furnace all smelted into ingots and then if you have another return engine here but pull that into here into another chest and your whole process is automated nice eh? cool so if you have any questions leave me in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial